Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You will be detected if you remain in the area. Yeah, the guy Avian's dead. If you remain in the zone, you will be detected by the Ash dead, dude. Who's peeking me, bro? Come on. Slash dead. You will be detected if you remain in this area. You have been spotted by hostiles. Fall back. One on four remaining. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected by hostiles. No, thank you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Shock with DG, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over how you can control the SMG 11. If you enjoy Rainbow Six Siege content and you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm on my way to 100,000 subscribers, which is honestly just insane. So if you wouldn't mind taking an extra second and just hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. You're going to need all of these tips to fully master the SMG-11, so be sure to stick around until the end of the video, where I'll also have a little bit of an announcement for you guys. Anyways though, let's move on to how you can control the SMG-11 with ease. So I think there's a few things that are crucial to controlling the SMG-11. The first of those things are your attachments. So I'll go through and show you my attachments and explain my reasoning for using them. So I like to use the hollow for my optic, flash header for my barrel, and vertical grip for my grip. I've been using these attachments for years now and that's basically just because I feel as if the recoil stays pretty consistent with these attachments even with the release of a new season. Oftentimes when a new season comes out, you'll find that your recoil with certain attachments feels a bit different compared to the last season. So with these attachments, I never really feel that way and if anything, I actually feel as if the recoil is improved. You can experiment with other attachments if you'd like, but these of course are what I recommend and what I've been using for years now. The next most important thing for controlling the SMG-11 recoil has got to be whether your TAF firing or going full auto. This is a problem that I see a lot of people having. They just really aren't sure when they should be full autoing or TAF firing. So I'll go in game and give you my thoughts as well as some examples to go with it. So firstly, I'm just going to shoot at the wall while not trying to control the recoil in any way. So as you can see around the sixth bullet, the recoil starts to take a turn to the left. Because of this, if you're anywhere past around eight meters away from your target, I'd suggest you just use a four to six round burst. This basically means just to shoot four to six bullets at a time. I got a lot of comments from people asking what that meant on my LO video, so I just wanted to clarify it here. If you're interested in that video, it's basically the same thing as this video, but I go over LO Scorpion instead. I'll have the link to that video in the description, as well as my tips playlist where I have over 30 videos just like this one. Anyways though, the reason I think you should tap fire is because from longer ranges, again that 8 meter plus, the horizontal recoil is going to be very difficult for you to control. So if you can keep your burst to around 4-6 to six shots, you won't be dealing with any of that horizontal recoil. So this will make it very easy to be accurate at longer distances. Anything closer than 8 meters, I would usually full auto. So this gives me great recoil control and accuracy at any distance. And for my third tip of today's video, we're going to be talking about crosshair placement. This is easily one of the most important things on this list, so be sure to take some notes. So I told you guys you should be tap firing at long ranges, but that really won't help you if you aren't hitting your target in the right place. So at long range, the SMG-11 won't be doing as much damage, so it's crucial that you master your crosshair placement. This alone will give you the appearance of having no recoil. This is because you'll be finishing off your enemies in just a few shots. This is something that I often do, which gives me the appearance of having better recoil control than I actually do. And this doesn't even require good aim. Getting good crosshair placement is very simple and will actually improve your overall aim and KD. All you have to do is go into a T-Hunt and compare where one of the T-Hunt bot's heads are in comparison with a door frame. I go in detail about crosshair placement and improving your overall mechanical skill in my aim training video, so I'll have that linked below in the description if you're interested in that. So to save us some time, go ahead and watch that if you'd like some more info on crosshair placement, and we're going to go back to the SMG-11. So now for our final tip of the video, but before you leave, remember to stick around for my announcement at the end of this tip. So my last tip sounds super cliche, but it's actually one of the best ways to improve, and that's to simply just practice with the SMG-11. You can watch recoil guide after recoil guide, but if you don't practice what you've learned and put in some time to fill out the gun, you'll never actually learn it. So honestly guys, that's all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and maybe even learned something. Once again, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And if you've already subscribed, you can also like and comment to help the YouTube algorithm find my video. Anyways though, on to my little announcement. So I have a few things to mention here, but firstly, I'm super excited to say that my merch is finally being made. It'll all be ready by the time I hit 100k subs, which is also the same time I'll be dropping it. Lastly though, I'm currently sponsored by this game called Conqueror's Blade. This is a completely free, PC-only, tactical MMO game. Basically, all I need from you guys is for you to download the game. All you need is any sort of computer, whether that's a laptop or gaming PC, it doesn't really matter. I'll have the link in the description for those of you who would like to directly support me. 
Sponsors like these allow me to continue to produce high quality and consistent videos full time for you all. So if you wouldn't mind, please download it and just complete the tutorial. Anyways though guys, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video and you made it this far, thank you so much. And also comment down below saying bottle so we can confuse everybody who didn't make it this far. Anyways though guys, hope you have a great day and thanks for watching. I'm playing close here. They're in con. Inside, 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 inside. Green box, green box. Green box, keep on reach, keep on reach. 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 Let's go! Right, let's go. I'm also on site. I'm also on site. Got from under. I'm busy, man. From under. He just climbed up! I'm crying! He's up there. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for the clip, Vexian. I appreciate it. The diffuser has been secured. One behind the shield. Well, my. Moving max. Top four last stop standing. He was behind the shield. I'm gonna go out. Yeah, I'm gonna go out. Oh, bad picture. Yeah. I think... Yo, go, get the... Hey, it is off, right? I already got Garen's bandage, my bad. Ready, eat up, boys, got... I don't even need to get in the site. Free top, bro. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a pick early, then. Spawn peek with smoke? That guy is actually just got deleted, bro. <laughs> That's just open. Bye, Bunker. So you just gifted all the subs for the one on one? He's done, he's done. Another one? Oh, it's him. Last operator standing. Can I clip him? Master window. Four eliminated. 